In this video, we're touring a unique one bedroom home that was built with a 53 foot used shipping container. It's called a plunk pod because it's built completely off site and designed to be plunked down and ready to use wherever it's needed. Whether it's in a backyard with full hookups or in a remote location with off grid systems. We're gonna meet up with Steve from Northern Shield and get a full tour of this really cool and versatile small space. This video is sponsored by Omaze. They're offering the chance to win a $130,000 custom tiny home while also supporting a great cause. We'll give you more information at the end of the video and you can also visit omaze.com slash exploring ALT to find out more. When you're using containers, you have to work within the space that you're given. It's nine foot six tall. The ceiling height inside of this is eight foot six. Um, and especially with the space being narrow, the high ceilings and with as many windows that we have inside of this, the space actually feels wide open. Our goal with the plunk pods are to create units that are ready to go. So whether that's something that you're gonna to connect to your, uh, your own services at home or something that we do off grid, the idea was to create a variety of living spaces of different sizes that you could just pop or plunk wherever you needed it. So we manufacture them off site. We fit them out with literally everything, including appliances. We do minimal work once we arrive on the actual site. And then the goal is to be in and out in a day. So this is our largest plunk pod. It's a 450 square foot, one bedroom living space that we manufactured out of an eight and a half by 53 foot used shipping container. In the living room, it's, a, it's enough space comfortable for two people. We've got an electric fireplace, a large screen television, and then we incorporated some dining space. It's also multi-use space. So there's a plug there, you can set up laptop, charger phone, whatever it might be. And in small spaces, the goal is to make them useful, right? And in many ways, as many ways as you possibly can. This is the end of the container where their container doors actually are. So they're open right now, but they can be closed as well, right? So to create some privacy uh, for security, or uh, if you're building a deck or something out there, the doors really do make kind of a unique feature to uh, the design of your home. So we actually use a ductless split system inside of the home for heating and cooling. Um, and in a space like this, although it's a 450 square feet, it's, it's long, but it's amazing the power of those systems. So uh, when that system's on, whether it's hot or it's, it's cold, it really does do an effective job at cooling or heating the space. Uh, in the areas where we close doors, because it's not a, a forced air system, we supplement for heat uh, with baseboard heat. So in the bathroom or in the bedroom, in any area that you're closed and you don't get the regular airflow, the kitchen is designed um, sort of like a, a little mini L kitchen. So again, smaller spaces, but trying to, to use that space effectively. Whether you're preparing food or you're serving or you're putting something out, uh, if guests are over, we wanted to make sure that there was ample space. And so we designed the kitchen, shaker style doors with really nice black hardware uh, and a beautiful gray granite countertop that we've carried through into the living room. We waterfalled down the side, just a little bit of extra touch, a little bit of extra effect. And then we kind of did a feature wall. So even though this isn't the actual inside of the container wall itself, uh, we put corrugated steel on the actual wall to give it that same effect, that same cool, sleek look as uh, containers. And then we chose uh, some open shelves. So the, the open shelf effect really does provide not only an effective way to store things or display things, but it really does add to the overall look of the kitchen itself. Uh, so the kitchen's well appointed. It has a really nice stainless steel range, uh, a stainless steel fridge. Uh, and then in different designs, we can actually put a microwave on the counter or we can have the microwave above the range or above the fridge. Inside the kitchen, we actually chose to have a really large patio door, but also picture window style patio door. And so even though you're in eight and a half feet of space, the feeling of openness is amazing, right? And so when you're cooking or on days that are warmer, uh, because there's so many openings inside of the actual home itself, you open that and get incredible airflow and really get a feel of sort of that inside and out um, scenario. So with the big patio door, um, you can have a really nice walkout area for a deck, but then we've also designed these plunk pods so that you can actually expand them. And so in the same area where we have the door and these windows, uh, we can actually take that out and leave that opening in a way that we can add another 40 foot unit or an eight by 20 foot unit um, to add more space. And so that gives you more depth, gives you more room, uh, possibly another bedroom, a larger living area, a larger area for entertaining. But the idea behind the system is you can also add to it. 
And so we actually have two doors here. And so the, the purpose of those doors is just like a home, you want a front and a rear door. So depending on how it's situated, instead of having to go one side and walk all the way around, we incorporated so that you could actually walk through, but it really does create sort of an open space between the two as well. So because the containers are a long and narrow design, uh, we truly really try and use the corridor effectively. And so uh, in this corridor, we actually have the mechanical room and the front entry closet. Uh, and then we decided to split the bathroom uh, into two spaces. So it's a toilet and a sink. And then we also create a shower room that has a shower and a sink as well. And so the space feels properly sized, but then also if there's a couple uh, that's living here, two people are inside of it, there's also two different areas to shower, use the washroom. We also try to use the space. So we, we have storage, right? That's always the complaint about smaller units is where do you put things? And so any year where, where we had dead space, we tried to incorporate that in to create storage or areas where people can actually put their things. And so same thing on the other side too, we created another wall system that has storage, whether it's shoes or whatever it is that you've, um, you've got to store. So this is the bedroom. So there's enough space for a double or even a queen bed, depending on uh, how much space that you want to utilize. The idea in this space is to, again, create a light feel, even though you're in a smaller space. Uh, there's two beautiful windows, a transom window that's all operable. There's still areas for nightstands on either side with plugs available for, for lighting and lamps. Uh, there's also an area where you could have a wardrobe or a, um, even a closet if you wanted that. We can incorporate that into the design. This one just has like a beautiful shelf space so that you can store clothes. So my favorite feature about this particular unit is actually the floors. So the floor in here is the floor that came with the used container. So we opened it up, saw what was there and thought this is a fantastic base to be able to build this unit on. It's a wide plank wood floor. It's beat up and so we just did a quick sand on it uh, with a light coat of stain um, and one coat of sealer. These units can be connected to services so if you have water, hydro, sewer we can design them to be connected to whatever is available or we can actually turn them into off-grid units. We can fit them out with things like composting toilets or incinerator toilets. We can also deliver the units to site complete with a water tank so that you can fill it so you have potable water. So the unit that we're in right now is actually powered by a solar power generator. So we actually have a, a three kilowatt solar trailer that we designed that runs all of the services inside here, anything that's 120 volts, or we can actually convert over to 240 volts. So if you're running something like a duct with split system, like we have in this unit, um, we can design a power solution to match uh, whatever it is that we're trying to power. And we actually have a system uh, that we've incorporated solar panels into a structurally insulated panel to allow these units to generate their own power. Not only can we create solar on the roof, it actually is the roofing product that has solar embedded in it, uh, but we can also create solar walls. So you don't necessarily have to have all the services that you would require in a normal home style situation. We can adapt it really to any style of environment. On the front facing side of the building, we use a hardy panel system. So it actually looks like a concrete style finish along with a gray corrugated steel siding. If it's going to be more of a permanent style of installation, we can put them on helical piles. Uh, we've also put them in on engineered cribbing. Um, so if it's something simple that you need uh, for shorter periods of time, there are simple ways to set those units up without having it be set up permanently. So we've insulated this with spray foam insulation. And on the bottom of this unit, when it's set in place, whether it's on helical piles or some other form of foundation, um, and it's all skirted and closed up, you don't see that spray foam. One of the concerns with shipping containers and some of the things that you see online, uh, there's a concern about condensation. So uh, yes, shipping containers are made of steel and yes, it's possible that they can condensate. Uh, however, if you're following building code and you're actually building these units properly and you're using proper insulation, um, proper engineering, um, and thinking through what you're doing, we've been building these units for years and years and never have had a condensation issue. When you think about it, that it, you know, it was a, an eight by 53 foot container, you know, when you see it, you know, or if you would have saw it, it's not very much to mention. It just looks like a container, but the finished look of this between granite countertops and, and the old wood flooring that's inside of it and the herringbone tile in the bathroom and all the fixtures and the corrugated steel and the colors and the open shelving, when it all comes together, the unit looks amazing. If you want to find out more about these plunk pods and see more container and prefab builds by Northern Shield, we'll put a link to their website in the description below. We want to thank Omaze for sponsoring this video. Right now they're offering the chance to win a $130,000 custom tiny home from True Form Tiny. 
so you could design your own dream tiny home with whatever style and aesthetic you want and use it however you want. It could be a full-time home, a vacation getaway, a home office, or even an income generating rental. There's not much else that gets the imagination going quite like the possibility of creating your own small space, and this is your chance to do it for real. Omaze always has amazing sweepstakes, and in 2021, there were over 6,000 Omaze winners. So a lot of people are winning great prizes. When you enter for a chance to win, you're also supporting the National Park Foundation. They work to protect wildlife and park lands and connect people everywhere to the wonder of parks. So for your chance to win a $130,000 custom tiny home from Trueform Tiny and support a great cause, go to omaze.com slash exploringalt and enter now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.